I grew my YouTube channel Making It In Holland to over 1 million video views and I still can't believe I'm saying this out loud. But I didn't get here without any mistakes. In fact, I probably made a few too many mistakes and in this video I'm going to share with you those so you don't have to make them. Now, I'm very confident the moment you know these and you don't make these mistakes, you're going to see faster growth inside your YouTube channel and you're going to actually generate more revenue for your business as well. A bit of a fun fact, all of the things that I'm sharing with you in this video are the things I am avoiding as I'm building up this brand new YouTube channel. So let's get started. The number one mistake that I made was building a transactional relationship with my audience and not really showcase that personality piece. And oh my, oh my, why did I not do that? I know the reason why. The reason why I didn't want to do that was in the beginning, in my head, it was all about creating evergreen content, making sure everything is SEO optimized, making sure all the videos are hyper informative. So I was almost like a robot delivering all this information to my best ability, but I forgot one key piece of the puzzle, which is the most important, and that is showcasing my personality to the people who are actually watching my videos. That is why inside my four-part video proprietary framework, if you remember, E-A-T-P, P stands for personal. You really got to have personal videos in the mix as you are doing all of your evergreen videos and the trendy videos and all that good stuff because people will find you because of the information, but they will actually stay and engage and come back for your personality. The second mistake that I made riffing off of the previous one is because I wanted everything to be so SEO optimized, I would spend hours, if not days, trying to find the most perfect keyword, the most perfect keyword phrase, look at the long tail keywords and just go down this rabbit hole. And then when it comes to titling my videos, I would basically do my best to keyword stuff it to the brim. And that was a mistake because I forgot about the most important thing. And that is I'm talking to someone. I need to be able to communicate what the video is about in a clear and easy to understand way. All the while it is being keyword optimized. The thing that I'm doing with these videos right now that you're watching. Hello. Hi there. I see you. I am thinking about titling it in a way that communicates to you clearly what the video is about, what kind of outcome you can expect. I'm not out here burning the midnight candle, trying to find the most perfect keyword or keyword phrase. Now I'm not saying that this is not important when you're getting started in the beginning. However, if the difference between you creating the video that you want to create is hinging upon not finding the most perfect keyword for it, make the video, forget about the keywords. That is something you can get better at down the line. You know, when you go to a boutique that is a little bit higher end, they pay extra attention to how they're wrapping everything up for you. That is the packaging. Packaging is part of the experience. It is just as important as what's in the box. What does that mean for your YouTube videos? You need to think extra careful when it comes to the visual thumbnail of the video, AKA the wrapping paper of your video. You might have the world's most insightful video with so much fabulous information, but if the packaging is not enticing enough, people are probably not going to pay attention. They're not going to click on it. And if they don't click on it, they're not going to watch the video and you want them to watch the video. So that is a mistake that I made where the thumbnail visuals was always an afterthought. I would create the most epic video and then I would think about, okay, well, what, what's the thumbnail going to be? And then I would just pick out like a random image from the video footage itself slap some random text on there and hope and call it a day and hope that it's going to work well. And let me tell you something in the beginning, it, it worked okay. But as my channel started to grow, I noticed the click through rate was 
dropping, which meant that I had to pay extra attention to the thumbnails. So what am I doing now is I am planning my thumbnails in advance as much as possible so that before I shoot the video, I'm giving that piece of content the best foot forward to succeed. Now we're going into the bigger mistakes categories. And here I got for you a very big one. I wish I started building my email list from day one of my YouTube channel where I had zero subscribers and absolutely zero video views. I didn't build up my email list until after my first 1000 subscribers. And at that point I was already having like a couple of thousand collective video views, which means I missed out on potential earlier leads. That is why even if you're not like 100% happy with the lead magnet that you want to create initially, it's better to have it created and be put out there so that it's ready to work for you literally from the get-go. I'm pretty sure by not having my lead magnet, I don't want to name numbers, but I would say I easily missed out on a couple of thousand dollars and I don't want you to miss out on that for your business. All right, there's something you have not been seeing throughout this video, and it's all the video scripts and the outlines that I've written to prepare for this shoot. And that was my fourth mistake. I always thought I'm good on camera, I'm gonna wing it, I'm just gonna show up and share my thoughts and it's going to be fabulous. It never really worked out that way. The shoot sessions would go on forever, I would have a hard time coming up with what I want to say. I would hate myself and make a lot of mistakes for not knowing what to say. So these days, I come to my shoot days as prepared as I possibly can be with my script outlines. Sometimes I have bullet points. Sometimes I write things out like word by word, exactly how I would say it because Preparation is key. It saves you so much time. Even if you're the world's best impro person, or even if you're so used to giving presentations, I don't care when you are prepared, things are going to go a lot faster for you on the shoot day. And that is the mistake. As you can see, I am avoiding this time around with this YouTube channel. The biggest mistake that I made is switching who I'm talking to with my videos often. Now, in its early days, making it in Holland was all about career in the Netherlands, and then I added the business aspect on top of it. So it was a channel about all things business and career in the Netherlands. But over time, I added the element of lifestyle to it as well. So it became a place where you learn about life, career, and business in the Netherlands. People who came for the career and the business stuff weren't necessarily interested in the lifestyle aspect of the Netherlands, or at least my lifestyle in the Netherlands. And no shade here, not everyone needs to care about where I'm eating, where I'm shopping, but this was the breaking point for my channel because those videos didn't get the engagement that I was hoping that they would. So I want you to avoid this mistake for your YouTube channel and there are a couple of ways you can actually achieve that. The first thing is being so clear about the audience that you're talking to and make sure all the interest points are cohesively aligned. So if you want to talk about career, yeah, you can talk about business because they are more interlinked. But if you want to go down the lifestyle route, you might want to make it just about lifestyle and if possible, one specific element of lifestyle. It could be shopping, it could be eating, whatever you can imagine. Here, a really great example is think about your ideal audience at the core. Think about the main interest they have and then brainstorm all the other interests that they might have regarding the topic you want to cover and make sure that you're very much staying in that because if you go too broad especially too fast you're not going to be known for that specific thing you want to be known for and you're going to attract like who knows what to your channel and it's not going to result on the kind of people you want 
as well as not the kind of revenue that you want to generate from your YouTube channel because there is nothing coherent there. So over at this channel now, we're talking about YouTube video marketing and all things online business. I might branch out a little bit later down the line once I have more of an audience and once I know the audience is interested in that next thing that I want to share. It very much becomes a dialogue between you and I. You tell me what you want to see and then I adapt what I'm creating to serve you. So keep that in mind for your own YouTube channel. So knowing what mistakes to avoid is one part of the equation. The other part of the equation is to know what to get right aka having a strategy specifically designed for you and your business so you can start and scale an actual money-making YouTube channel. I'd love to speak with you more about this and if you want to chat with me I'm going to be leaving the link to my calendar down in the description of this video. You can choose a time that works the best for you so we can speak about where you are, where you want to go and if there is a way for us to work together to make that happen. So this is exactly what happens on the call. You schedule your no cost, no strings attached video game plan call and I'm going to ask you what you do in your business, where you are now, where you want to go and then we're going to have a heart to heart to look at the missing pieces and see how inside Video Sales Mastery we can work with you at various capacities to allow you to get closer to your goals and dreams. And if we find that we're not the best fit to work together right now, by the end of that video game plan call, you will at least know what your next step to take is. All you have to do is go to the link in the description of this video and schedule your call. And I'm very much looking forward to speaking with you soon. And as usual, until the next time, don't forget to stay awesome.